Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about decimal. What is decimal? A decimal is a way of writing a number that is not whole. Suppose I have to write a number between 5 and 6, then we use decimal. So what is the use or need to learn decimals? Decimals are used in situations where more precisions are required. Suppose in terms of height, in terms of money, we can see that the we can see the use of decimals now we'll cover few topics which uh, comes under decimal like how to convert fractions to decimal decimals to fraction or what is fractional decimals like this so first of all uh, we have learned we, we have already learned about what is fraction so now the relationship between fraction and decimals a fraction in which the denominator is 10, 100 and thousands. Uh, suppose I have a denominator like 10, 100, 1000. These are then these kind of a fraction. These kind of a fractions are called decimal fractions. Just keep in mind if there is a fractions which has denominator 10, 1000, 100, 10,000 etc. Et then these kind of a fractions are called uh, decimal fraction. So if I see, uh, suppose I have this one and how will we write it? 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's take. So how can I write this one? So this one is 1 by 10, this one is decimal fraction. Now we need to know that how can we convert it into decimal fractions. So this one becomes 0 0.1. I will teach you further how to convert a fraction to decimals. I will teach you. If I have a number, suppose this number. So this 2 will be called whole number this will be called decimal point keep in mind and this will be called decimal part this will be whole number this will be decimal part and this will be decimal point this is decimal point always so we can say that 2.2 3 like this or if I have another number we can, like if I have this number we can say that 2.14 suppose I have to write uh, 5.67 then we can say that 5.67 or if I have a number 23.14 then we can say that 23.14 or we can say that 23 and 14 so these two parts are different. This one is called whole part or this, this one is called decimal part. And this is divided by this part, this decimal, uh, this decimal point. Now, we have learned already uh, place value in whole number. But in decimals, the place value is little bit change. So, see, if I have a number like 2, 3, 4, in whole number, we know that this one is called ones, this one is called tens, this one is called hundred, thousand, ten thousand, like this. But in decimal, suppose this is the decimal point, it will start from here the tens, hundreds, thousands. So there is no ones. Keep in mind if I have a number here, five point. Uh, 3 2 then it will call then it will call 32 hundreds it won't call uh, 32 tens or something this then it will call 32 hundred because it is starting from here so 10 hundred uh, I have a more example like I have say 30 point uh, one four say then what will we say this what will just keep in like what can we say that we can say that 30 30 point 
145,000. 30, I can write it here. I will write it here. 30, 30 point because this is decimal. So, point, 30 point. Now, if, if we talk in whole numbers, then it will be completely different. But here we are talking in decimal. So, this will call 145,000. Keep in mind, 145,000. Okay. 145,000. There is one more way to write this one. How can we write this? We can write it like 30.145. It is already clear. 145. We can say that. <clears throat> now, how to convert fraction into decimal? Now we learn how to convert decimal fraction into decimal. Okay, so better to understand through an example. As I have told you, a fraction which denominator has 10, 100 thousands is called decimal fraction. So let's take one fraction 6 by 10. Okay, so now we have to convert it into decimal. Okay, so just keep a trick. Remember here, check how many zeros are here. There is one zero. Okay, keep in mind. We can see that how many zeros are, uh, are in our denominator. There is one zero. What we'll do, we'll start from here. From the right side, we'll check numerator and start from right sides. There is only one digit. So, and uh, six. So, how many zeros are here? One zero. So, what we'll do, we'll put decimal point after one digit. Here six, only one digit. So, we can count 1 and then we'll put decimal here. So, it will become 0 0.6 or we can say that 0.6. Generally, we use 0 as a whole number. I'm giving you one more example. Let's see, I have 8 by 10. 8 by 10. And I have to convert it into decimal. So, how will we convert it into decimal? We'll see how many zeros are here. There is only one zero. See, only one zero. So, what we'll do? We'll put decimal point after one digit in the numerator. So, how many digits are here? There is only one digit, it's eight. So, what we can do? We can put, <coughs> what we can do? We can do like this. One digit, decimal and then zero. I will give you one more example so that you can better understand. Here I have 328 by 100. Now listen to me properly. How many zeros are here? There are two zeros. So what we'll do? We will put decimal point after two digits. We'll check our numerator and after two digits we'll put decimal point. One more important thing, we'll put decimal point from, uh, like we can say that, right to left. We'll check right to left. Here, two digit. So, we'll check two digit from. What we'll do? Right to left. So, eight, two. After two digit, we'll put decimal and then rest of the digit. Okay. Uh, I hope you understand how to convert decimal fraction into decimals. If there is confusion, I will uh, give you one more example. Suppose I have to divide this by 10. We have to convert it. Like as I told you, we'll have to check how many zeros are in denominator 1, 0. So we'll put decimal after 1, 0, 1 uh, digit. So we'll put decimal after 1 digit. 6, 7. I hope you understand. How to convert decimal fractions into <coughs> decimals. Now, these are decimal fractions. What were the normal fractions? Suppose I have a fraction 7 by 2. I have to convert it into decimal. Now, we can say that this is not decimal fraction. 
So what we'll do here, we'll try to convert it into decimal fraction. For this, we need to, uh, we, we are supposed to have 10, uh, 100,000 like this. So we can see, uh, can we make it denominator 10 or 100? So if I multiply uh, say, uh, 2 by 5, then we get 10 as our denominator. So obviously if you multiply a number uh, by uh, something, then we have to multiply numerator and denominator both. So what we'll do, 7 by 2 multiply means 5 upon 5. So here, 35 by 10. Now, can you convert it into decimal? Just check. See how many digits are uh, in our denominator, one digit or one zero. So what we'll do, we'll put our decimal point after one digit from left. So we'll check 5.3. So we have changed our normal fractions to decimal. I hope you both, do you understand the both the things? How can we convert decimal fraction or how can we convert normal fraction into uh, decimals? We learn how to convert decimal into normal fraction. Uh, suppose I have one decimal 7.3 and I have to convert it into decimal fraction. How to convert it? We'll write 7.3. What will be the next step? We'll write 73 and we have to convert it into normal fraction. So there should be a denominator. Now what will come under our denominator? We'll check this decimal. This decimal become 1 and how many numbers or how many digits come after decimal like right hand side so there is only one digit so we can put one zero after that if there will be another digits like three two then we'll put uh, two zero three zero up to so i'll give you one more example or we'll explain through i'll explain through one more example suppose i have this 2.63 i have to convert it into normal fraction so what i will do i will write 263 this decimal become 1 and there is 2 digit after decimal so 2 digit one more example like 3.146 so it will become 3146 this decimal become 1 and there is 3 digit after decimal so 3 zeros so this has become normal fractions so this is the way we can convert decimal into uh, normal fractions. Now we'll learn about like decimals and unlike decimals. Like decimals, what is like decimals? Decimals having the same number of decimals place are called like decimals. Suppose I have uh, one decimals 3.2, 4.6, 3.1 so we can see these has same number like there is only one there is only one there is only so we will check how many digit after decimal so suppose I have uh, one more example 4.65 there is two places 3.14 there is also two places uh, 7.87 this one also has two places. So we'll check places of decimals. If all of them are equal, then we can say that these are like decimals. Now, what is unlike decimals? Unlike decimals having different number of places. Uh, if we'll see 3.1 and 4.26, uh, 3 point four five and uh, eight point seven eight seven if we'll see all these decimals their places are different this one has only one digit two digit two digit all of them are different so we can say that these are unlike decimals we can convert unlike decimal into like decimal by adding zero after the number suppose uh, i have this one we need to convert it into unlike one so how can i convert it uh, 
we can add zero after the last digit so if if i need to convert it into like decimal how will i convert uh, there are two digit two digit three digit so i have to convert till three digit so what will do what will i do 3.1 now three digit two six zero three digit three point four five zero three digit and this one already has three digit so now we have convert this unlike decimals into like decimals so how will we convert we will add zero after the last digit in the decimal point 